Hello and welcome back to our Portal Revolution playthrough. In our last episode, we made our way to the spire on the surface and tried to reactivate the core to repair the facility, but everything went wrong because of course it did. And this left us plummeting down to the bottom with no portal gun. So we are now on the cutting room floor with no portal. Let's see what happens today. Again, we are now kind of wandering helpless because we have no way to portal anywhere. Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> the fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world, just like we have for over 30 years. Rom draft? This fun? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my pod? All right, seems like they're introducing us to a new character. Kind of reminds me down here of being in the old areas of Aperture Science where we would hear recordings from Cave Johnson in Portal 2. Okay, so this is like the history of Aperture Science. Huh, is that what I think it is? No way. There's a new portal gun. I wonder if it can do anything different or if it's just going to be a pallet swap. Well, we have a red portal gun that can shoot red and blue portals, it seems. I also feel like I've made it this far into the series without mentioning the most important fact about this game, and that's that on Steam at time of recording, this game is actually free if you own the Portal games. Not sure if you need to own the first or second or both, but I think I picked up the Portal games for like seven bucks on sale at one point, and this game's free if you have them. Okay, not sure where we're going, but I guess I'm just gonna take the path of least resistance here. Start portaling my way down. Yeah, if you own the Portal games, I would check Steam to see if this game is free for you, because it was free for me. And with how good this game is, it has no right to be free. It's been amazing. Yeah, I think over one Christmas they were selling the entire Valve catalog for like seven bucks or something. It's like less than a dollar a game. And since then, if you have the Portal games, all the updates and things they've made have been free. Remember getting the uh, like ray tracing RTX upgrade for Portal, and that was free. And now this is also free. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna have to put a portal down there and jump into it. And that's gonna launch us somewhere. It's gonna figure out where it's trying to get us to launch to. I'm sure it wants us to go flying somewhere. Can't wait to learn some more backstory and more about the facility and the history and stuff being down here. So far we've only met Sterling and all we really know about him is that he kind of wants to repair the facility and bring back GLaDOS. But we don't know why or what's going on or anything about him really. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. I need to, while I'm in midair, shoot that angle 
and then go flying across the level that way. Just have to line up that shot. It's hard to do when I'm flying in midair. There we go, we're somewhere new. Very quiet down here. Wonder if they were going for like a feeling of isolation down here. Okay, what it what power switch to open that. I feel like there's probably a lot hidden in here that we're not seeing. Okay, the locked doors, we have no chance of opening it seems. Okay, that door's not gonna open. I wonder if that's because we turned the power off. Okay, that's where we came flying in from. So I don't wanna go back that way. So that's the on off switch. So now we can turn the power back. Okay. We had to use it almost like an airlock. Open it, go in, put a portal, go back, turn the power back the other way. getting somewhere so nice to have a portal gun back my new boss is a robot We're rolling? Okay. All right. We're trying something different with this test. If you've worked in device development, then you'll know what this is already. But if you don't, that will actually give us better data. So just have fun with it. It shouldn't be able to hurt you. I mean, anything can hurt us if we try hard enough. Trying to see what I can shoot onto and what I can't. Oh, did I just solve that by accident? I let go of it and it just kind of went flying up the tube. Oh, that was a happy accident. Oh. Okay, things are a little more destroyed here and on fire. We have turrets in that room. To remind everybody, 
Anybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events, all pneumatic diversity events in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. It does, however, suck up turds. I'm guessing is going to be the secret to this. Let's see if we can shoot a portal behind them and get them sucked up. Okay, I don't seem to be able to hit the top floor. All right, that's definitely the solution to this puzzle. Okay, everything on the top floor is protected by glass. That's such a cool mechanic though. Just have to put a portal near them and watch them disappear. just have to make the way over to the door with the uh, cube now that all the turrets are cleared out. Pretty sure we can just portal our way over. We could throw the box right in the vacuum tube and it should just fly over there too. Heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck. Funny, I was just saying how I thought they might have went for a sense of isolation on purpose. Kind of adds to the like destroyed feeling down here. I do miss hearing Cave Johnson though. He that character always cracked me up. Okay, things are definitely falling apart down here.
Now I wonder if we'll learn more about this voice actor we've been hearing now. I wonder if this will be the next character we meet that isn't Sterling. Personality Sphere Maintenance Labs. Such ridiculous names for all their departments. Like how do you need personality maintenance? Okay, that won't work. It's telling us to insert disc, and there is a disc drive, so something's going on in this room. Here we go. Never seen that before. What's happening? Are we done? Oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? What the, who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. Okay, so we have someone new, and it's that voice actor we were hearing in the background. By the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. It worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. Must be weird to not have a flashlight, but actually be a flashlight. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Listen, Is there anything I'm sorry up here? For... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. Okay, we okay. were up here earlier. Wait, what happened here? Look out the window, please. Right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. Got it. Woo! None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. We still don't even know who you are, aside from a voice actor from Aperture Science's history. Elevator. Sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Actually, you don't want to know. Can I ask you something real quick? What portal device model is that? Doesn't look like any of the ones I've seen before. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail! We found one! Whoa, 
Whoa, feels weird. This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. All right, she's gone. Don't think we've seen the last of her, though. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Yeah, I figured she was gonna tag along with us here. Again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley, and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning, and it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are. All right, well, I think this is where we're going to leave it for today. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come see what happens next in our Portal Revolution walkthrough. Bye for now.